Hey guys, thanks for stopping by my channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at these 50 Macaroon Color Brute Funner pencils. Um, these are a fairly new release. They just got released um, early December. I ordered them December 2nd and I think that was a pre-order and then they shipped out around December 10th and I just got them today on the 21st. So I think I got them pretty quickly from China. Um, was that about 11 days, less than two weeks? So that's really great. Um, usually AliExpress takes forever, sometimes even up to two months, but I got them really quick. I did get the package right before I had to leave, leave for work. So I didn't get to um, really check them out. I did take a little sneak peek in the box um the box was nicely wrapped it was um wrapped in bubble wrapped and then it was just in a poly ma poly mailer bag um it also came with this um pencil extender um i ordered them from Anstel stationery and i almost actually almost missed this because it was in the bubble wrap i almost threw it away but that's a nice little free gift they sent and then they just also sent this little card, the best or nothing, basically just telling you, um, you know, thank you for um, purchasing with them. And it says if you have any problems or any issues or anything's broken, you can contact them and they give you all their contact info, which is really great in case something goes wrong. You get customer service from them. Um, let's see what the back of the box looks like. It has, this is kind of like a basic, um, whenever you get Brute Funners or any kind of pencil that's made by the same factory as Brute Funner, you'll notice they'll have it in all these different languages. Um, and see how this Brute Funner over here, like if it's another product, um, brand name, they'll switch it out for that, but it makes, it'll all be always the same kind of little format on the box. Um, let's take a look and see what it says in the English section. It says, Brute Funner, blendable pencils are the perfect coloring solution. Rich, vibrant pigments and expertly balanced shades provide superior blending. Whether you're a beginner, a hobbyist, or a professional artist, these premium pencils are ideal for all your creative work, from quick sketches to intricate details. Now, I think this might just be like a generic um, little thing here. I don't think it's necessarily meant for this particular product. The box is really cute. Um, it's a little dented, but we're not gonna be keeping the box, are we? No, we're gonna have to find a case for them. So I did take a little sneak peek right before I left for work, left for work. So I ended up, I put them, I stuck them back in so I didn't mess any of them up. Now, these are, I'm pretty sure um, these are meant to be a dupe for Holbein's, oops, I have them backwards. Holbein's, they look a lot like Holbein's. I brought over my Holbein's to um, kind of compare. I don't have the whole 50 set of pastel fruit funner set. I do have the 12 set. And then um, whenever I order stuff from Amazon Japan, I'll order like some open stock pencils because it's a lot cheaper. Then Blick, um, I had originally bought the 12 pastels from Blick just to try them out. And, you know, I thought they were all right. I wasn't too crazy for them. But um, the ones I bought from Amazon Japan, they seem a little bit better. Um, I don't know if you guys have heard that the formula is a little bit different from U.S. Um, to the, the ones that are sold in U.S. Um, from at Blick. I believe the difference is that they can't, you can't put cadmium in the pencils in the U.S. I think it's not allowed, but um, the ones in Japan, they do have cadmium in them. Cadmium in them, that's a hard word to say altogether. Um, so um, I think that's the difference, maybe. I don't, I'm not really 100% sure because I'm not really like uh, that into, um, Holbein so much. So I did notice though, let me see which one. They match up with the Holbein's and here, I'll take one for an example. So 
so you can see um, this Naples yellow. Okay, I got it nice and close so you guys can see the comparison to these um, Brute Funners and Holbeins. Um, as you can see, the font is like super, super, looks practically the same, like the same kind of font. Um, they might be a little bit different colors, but not really even. Um, they have the same band over here. Instead of um, where it says Japan, it says Brute Funner. And then on the other side, um, it has Naples yellow. Just this pretty much the same way they have Naples yellow with the two asterisks in front of it. Um, although it doesn't have the two at the end. Um, and even um, more um, shady, <laughs> according to me, um, is the numbers are, they have almost the same um, numbers. And they're all like that um, for the ones that they have um, correlating um, colors um, between the Holbeins and the these Brute Funner macaroons. Um, instead of, it says OP-134, that's the Holbein number, um, and the Brute Funner has B-1134. So, almost identical numbers, except for the Brute Funner has an extra one in front of it. Um, the barrel paint um, is not the same. I don't think they captured exactly the same. Like this Naples yellow is a little bit darker. Um, again, we'll do a comp total, um, we'll do a comparison um, after I do the, the speed swatch and we'll see um, how they compare with each other. I did ask the rep for this Anstell stationery. Um, I had asked if the, you know, if it was the same kind of formula as the 520 set. And the answer that she gave me says, um, it's not the same. Most of the 50 macaroon colors not included are not included in the 520 colors. And Brute Funner brand just confirmed. And it says lead materials also some difference. So they're saying it's not, they're not the same, um, Basically, I guess they're saying that it's not the same as the 520 set. So we'll see. Um, maybe a little later on, I'll take some of those out and we'll do some comparisons with those. So I'm assuming maybe they're like similar to the 520. If that's what she's saying, it says lead material is also some different. Um, I'm not really sure. As you know, um, there is some somewhat of a language barrier. Um, you have to keep that in mind when you speak to... Um, you know, some of the reps from AliExpress, English isn't their first language, so you're gonna have to expect some sort of um, lost in translation stuff on either side. So um, that's perfectly understandable. Um, so up next, we'll do our speed swatch. Um, I already have this chart ready. I just have to write in the names and sharpen up my pencils. So I'm gonna do that and we'll be right back.
and we're finished with our swatches. Um, I just want to say right off the bat, I did have some breakage issues right even before I started with my swatches when I was sharpening them to get ready for my swatches. I started um, using my electric sharpener, um, my Jarlink automatic um, stop sharpener. And by the time I got up to this one, um, what is this one? Sea fog. Um, this one, the point got stuck in the sharpener. It's still stuck in there, actually. I can't get it out. Um, I might have to take it apart to get it out. I don't know. But since I couldn't get the point out of the sharpener, I then um, went with um, my little metal comb sharpener. Um, these are really great. You can get like three. They come in like packages of three. That's how I got mine the last time I ordered them. Now, do I know where the other two are? Of course not. But um, that's a really great sharpener. Um, so I had to end up using that for the rest of the pencils, which um, I probably should have done in the first place because um, the ones that I did sharpen with that little goom sharpener, um, they don't seem to really have much of a problem. I think... Um, The ones I sharpened in the electric sharpener. Um, since it's an automatic stop, um, it kind of sharpens it like really to a sharp pointy point. And I think since these are kind of like mimicking the Holbein pencils, it seems like this lead is like a little on the softer side, maybe. Thinking maybe that could be the reason for um, some of the little breakage issues I had. And then this is another, the one. You might, probably saw that when I was swatching them. This one broke. I tried to sharpen it even a couple times afterwards, um, even with my comb sharpener, and it keeps breaking. So I don't know if this one's going to be a, a problem. Like maybe it's broken. Like maybe the core inside might be broken. I don't know. I'm going to try and sharpen it again. Hopefully it'll be okay. I hope so. And... Other than that, um, they seemed um, to swatch out pretty good. The cup, there's not too much, not much dust at all. No scratchiness. They were really smooth. Um, I did um, figure out that I have 26 whole binds that match with the, um, within this 50 set of Brute Funners. And I did a little color comparison in my notebook over here. So you can see, um, very, very close colors. Um, some of them a little closer than others. The only one that didn't match at all is this olive yellow, which I'm thinking possibly that could be a mistake. Um, like I'm thinking maybe a, like the color, like pen, like the switch did it like a switcheroo on another color. And like maybe named it the wrong thing, which I think, let's see, what is this one supposed to be? Olive yellow, this olive yellow over here. Um, maybe it's supposed to be really this willow green because that looks kind of like this should be this olive yellow. I don't have willow green in the whole bind, so I can't say 100%. But I'm thinking maybe this is some sort of mix-up over here between these two colors. So um, let me grab these two colors um, and try and do a comparison with this Holbein Olive Yellow. And let's see um, if that's probably the case. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking happened. Because look, this is the Olive Yellow in the Holbein. And this is the willow green in um, the Brute Funner. Those barrel colors look a lot more similar than um, this one they have for olive yellow in the Brute Funner. I mean, am I getting confused? No, this is it. See, I thought it was kind of weird when I was comparing the two together. Um, so I think that's must be what happens. 
Um, I think this is um, sort of kind of a production mistake they did. And um, so if anybody else has this set, let me know. Is your Are yours like that too? Um, like I said, I don't have a willow green um, in the Holbein, so I can't um, compare that color to see if, you know, it looks like um, this one. So, so let me check this out. This, oh, they're all so close. I can't, it's hard for me to, okay. So this is the Holbein um, olive yellow. Okay. And then this is the Brute Bunner Olive Yellow. So that's like a total, not doesn't match. And then this is the Brute Bunner Willow Green. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think um, not an exact match, but um, this one, um, Willow Green got mixed up. So I think that's what happened. Maybe, um, I'm not really sure a hundred percent. Like I said, I don't have that willow green in the whole bind to tell for sure. And, um, these two, um, aren't that great of a match either. Um, just looking at it, but, um, they seem like a better match than these two seem like a match. So, um, who knows? Um, I think there's something funny over here. Um, with those colors, um, you guys let me know. If you have the whole binds, um, the whole 50 set, um, let me know what you think. Um, if they, those two colors look like they've been switched. Oh, uh, also, there were, there are a few, um, misspellings, but not like, super serious ones I you can might not even notice um like this one let me pull this up the olive yellow um on this pencil is spelled o l i r e instead of o l i b e um i think another one oh cream Cream, they spelled with a G, so it says, I don't know if you can see it, it says, it says Green instead of cream. Um, another one. So ice cream is spelled wrong too that I noticed. Um, Instead of an I, they put an L. It's hard to focus because these are like really shiny letterings. But um, yeah, it's, it has an L instead of an I. Um, I think those were the few that I noticed I had the misspellings. Okay. So, um, so other than this um, mix up, um, they all seem like really great matches. Um, some of them are really close. I think um, like the this these these lighter yellow colors and the chartreuse green and everything. Like the lighter the lighter the blues are not so much, but um, pretty good all around. I think now um, I like this cobalt. The blues and the greens, um, I guess, must be hard to match exactly. Um, but they came really, really close, I'll say. Um, now, do I think um, these can compete with a Holbein pencil? Um, Color-wise, yes. Like, if you're just like me, um, coloring coloring books, um, and, you know, you're not an artist, needing to use artist grade materials. I think this is a great option. They were, I paid about 19 
08 total um, for this set. So that brings the pencils to be like about 38 cents um, per pencil, um, which is um, great price. Um, better, uh, at least a better deal than the those Castle Art um, 48 pencils for $45. Um, that's for sure. Um, if I had my choice between those two, I would probably pick these up instead. Um, but um, you got to think Holbein's, again, they're, it's an artist grade pencil. They're light fast. Um, I liken it to something like, you know, like when the Kardashians have like designer dresses and like a fast fashion place, like a Fashion Nova knocks it off and um, makes it more affordable. Um, I liken it to something like that along those lines. So a really great option if you don't have the money to spend on Hobines, but you, but you do like the colors, I'd be interested um, to see if these do well. Maybe they'll um, go ahead and proceed to um, do dupes for the whole entire um, 150 pencil set. Um, I think that would be really cool too. Um, so what do you guys think? Um, I do want to also try out, um, and see if I could get dupes going for the 520s. I want to see if that is really true. Like if the colors in the 520 set, um, if there actually are, they say they are some different ones. Um, I don't know if I'm going to pull out a whole 50. That's going to probably be a lot of work, but. I might do that. I might pull 50, um, see if we can get 50 close pencils to the ones in this set from the 520 set. All right, so I did go ahead and I went through my Brute Funner 520 swatches to see if I could find um, color matches for this um, 50 Brute Funner Macaroon set. And I did find a lot of colors um, that I thought were pretty good matches here. Um, I put the Brute Runner 520 on the bottom over here with the color names. So some of them I couldn't find a really good match or some of them, not, they're kind of close, but not exactly. Um, but I think um, if you already have the 520 set, you probably have most of these um, 50 colors. Um, this, I just made the rest of the color, um, colors of the 50 macaroons that I didn't have comparisons to my Hobines. So, a lot of the green, there's the greens in the 50 set, I think might be, um, the most unique out of everything because those I couldn't really find good matches for in the 520 set. Um, so it's up to you if you think um, it's worth it to get this 50 set. Um, for me, it was worth it. Um, you know, I'm a sucker to have every single color there is. Um, and pretty much you can't hardly even tell like between the Hobine, the Brute Funner, and the um, 520 just by looking at it for the ones that I got like really good close matches to um, like of course you're not going to be able to get the exact color on video but um, for the most part the ones that I did get really close matches to um, really really close colors um, finally I think I'm going to just do a really quick little coloring in this million magical creatures with the macaroon set. I picked this page out. Um, I'm just going to do a quick coloring of this fairy and this flower just so we can get an idea of how they look on a coloring page. Um, so that's up next.
coloring we did. Um, I just wanted to do a quick test just to see how they felt um, laid down on paper in a coloring book. Um, definitely not any of my like best coloring um, by far or anything. Um, I do like them. Final thoughts, I would say. Um, I think they're um, a great, a good deal for the price. Um, I think you can get them on AliExpress anywhere between like $17 to $20 probably. And I'm sure there's probably like coupons and stuff a lot of sellers offer. Um, I will leave you the link for the um, where I bought them from Anstell Stationery. Um, I did get them really fast from them. Um, I there I even with the few issues I found I had um, with like a little bit of breakage but I think that's just because it's a softer pencil and I didn't sharpen use the right kind of sharpener with them um, once I did use um, a different sharpener I had better luck so final thoughts um, I would definitely recommend getting these especially if you like pastels if you're crazy for pastels that seems to be the big um, pencil craze going on right now um, if you have the 520 set um, maybe you might not need it because I did find a lot of similar colors so but if you're crazy for pastels like I know a lot of us are um, definitely um, recommend getting them so I hope everyone has a really great day happy coloring and I'll see you next time Thank you.